whole concept of bringing the athletes to where I live and uh, to my sort of stomping grounds, which isn't really renowned for snowboard racing, is to really take them outside the box of traditional snowboard training and traditional race training. I got home from one day from Europe and I had to do all my laundry, pack my bags and just get it back into the van and come right up here. Uh, for us getting out of the gates is just a chance to uh, one, have fun on the board which is important and two, is uh, just really nail these little movements um, that when we go back into the gates just really helps us solidify a good position on the board. Even on some easy stuff, I'm going to challenge you guys with some new things that's going to screw with your brain. Um, uh, things that you're not normally comfortable with. Like, I've been looking forward to this camp. Like, I want to have four athletes here coming out of here, much better snowboarders than when you came in. Are we going to have fun along the way here? Yes. Like, I'm talking serious, but it, we're going to ride POW today. When Fawcett started dragging us through the woods yesterday, uh, didn't really know what was going on, figured it was just going to be a 10 minute hike and then go down whatever and we kept going and going and I had no idea what to expect. I totally thought that we weren't going that far. <laughs> we got about halfway up and I was thinking this is crazy. And about 10 minutes in, I, I kept looking to the ridge going, geez, I don't think we've gotten hardly any closer. Like this is going to be like a full on 40 minute hike. Following Foster just this kind of blind faith that he knew exactly where we were going. I could kind of see it in their faces where I was sort of like, this better be worth it. What in the heck did Fawcett bring us out here for? To the Kootenays to ride powder while we're supposed to be training for races. So you stay within your sport, but just something that's a little different, and a little more one side or the other on the spectrum. Have stuff coming at you fast here with a little lower consequence. I had to double take that one myself. Oh, I think hitting a tree is way worse than taking a veil in, in the gates. We're going to stick really close to my track. We're going to go in partners and space, space out a little bit. Wide open skies Call forward the winds I'm done being shy I'm over the flint When it gets tighter and tighter, I think more about hitting trees. <laughs> So I have to really see where I'm going and place my board in the right spot. And sometimes I stop myself because it's too intimidating. You're kind of looking for the openings and looking ahead and planning out your line. And that's exactly what they do when they race. Uh, Calgary Snowboard Club, they did really well. You know, it's, um, again, it's not their element being in uh, traditional snowboard gear, which is soft boots and a, and a freestyle type board. Awesome. Welcome to the Kootenays, folks. <laughs> you got an epic day here. Unfortunately, it's heating up really bad. So we'll get a couple runs in this morning, and it's back to the back to the grind. Getting the carves down on the race board are going to be way easier now that we've been doing them on the soft boards. So I think it all. I think it's going to help a lot. Pretty big change up when they switched to their hard boots, and we jumped on their race boards and got in a slalom. The athletes had a great time, I had fun, uh, a great crew to work with, and now we're sending them back on the road onto the worldwide tour of alpine snowboarding. We're just packing up to head home, so loading up the team van and getting ready for an eight hour drive. And lie through your teeth, murder the youth, bury the truth, suffer forever, the faults of the few, finish us off before it's all through. Human races, races, fires, punch in the face, but evolution.